Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions Stream. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress Global's beginner tutorial and this is our part 7. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about page now, sub menu and the current user global parameters. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress Global tutorial. So basically guys, so far we have discussed about several global parameters in WordPress. So if I go to WordPress setup, this is our WordPress setup and now global OWT, this is a dummy plugin that we have made. By the help of this plugin guys, we are actually understanding about the global parameters. So if I go to editor, now this is the structure of main plugin page, okay, where we have developed and retained some sort of a small snippet of codes. So let's start about the first global parameter of this video session, something called page now. So to understand that, if I go to administrator panel, as we can see that if I click on post, this is here called edit.php. If I click on media, this is called upload.php. And if I click on our plugin page, something called global OWT, this is admin.php. So basically page now variable gives you about the name of the file that is currently open to this page. It means that which basically PHP file of WordPress we are currently using to that page. So if I go to editor, if I declare a global variable something called global and this is page now and let me say that echo. current PHP file something called page now. So if I save this code, go to browser, reload this page and now we have so let me some formatting so let me say that this is within h2 tag and let me close this h2 tag, save this file, reload this page and now we have current PHP file something called admin.php. And this admin.php basically we can see inside the URL. So page now global parameter basically gives us about the detail of the PHP file which currently plugin using. So here we have a question. Question is that what is the basic use of this page now global parameter in WordPress? Suppose we are going to develop a plugin or we are going to develop a theme. So while making of all these, if suppose we have used multiple custom post types in our plugin development. So by the help of this multiple custom post type, we can actually check the currently opened PHP file. If that open page is something called edit.php, something called upload.php, something called books, that's something called edit.php, and these are the actually PHP files we can check by page now global parameter. So if I go to slide, now next about our submenu global parameter. So if I copy this variable and let me declare it here, so this is submenu and just make comment of all this line let's say that print r and this is submenu save this file go to browser and reload this page inside global owt so these are the actually array we are getting so let me make some formatting to this array so echo let's say pre tag and save this code reload this page as we can see that we have some array format of data. This is called index.php, scroll down. This is called upload.php, scroll down. And this is edit.php and many more files as we can see. Edit.php post type equal to page. Edit.php post type equal to book. Scroll down. This is themes.php. This is about plugins.php, users.php, tools.php and now we have the finally called options general.php. This is all about the information of PHP pages along with these submenus. As we have, as we can know that this is dashboard. So if I open a new tab, here is the PHP file attached with this called index.php and inside index.php we have two arrays, something called home and update 5. So what basically it is? So if I go to this tab, 
Here we have inside dashboard section we have to submit news called home and updates and this is the update notification. So basically this is actually read by this in .php file. This is all about our dashboard means in text.php. Scroll down. Here we have called upload.php. So go to next tab. Clicking on about our media section. Inside this upload.php file, we have called library and add new. Move to previous tab. Here we have inside upload.php, we have called library and add new. So this is all about the information about submenus of upload.php. So if I scroll about edit.php, here we have called these menus, submenus called all post, add new, categories and tags. So move to next tab. Just click on post section. This is edit.php. It basically contains four submenus called all post, add new, categories and tags. So move to next tab. Here we have all the details about the submenus of edit.php. Now what about the page? This is a post type called equal to page. So if I go to pages section, this is opening as edit.php and now it is differentiated by a custom post type which is provided by the WordPress setup. So if I go here, now inside this edit.php, we have differentiated it as the by post type and it basically contains two submenus. What are those? All pages and add new. So these are the submenus of pages section. Now we can understand here by using this global parameter guys about submenu, we can actually get all the details of admin menus and submenus along with PHP files. So this is the usage of this submenu global parameter. Now next we have to understand about the use of called current user. So if I copy this variable, let me declare it first copy this current user and I'm going to replace with this submenu. So save this file, go to administrator panel and if I click on, click on global OWT, now this will give up the about the detail of the user. Currently logged in user, this is a WP user object. Inside this object, we have a data object. Inside this data, we have all the values relating with our currently logged in user. If suppose we want to fetch any of the data inside this object, so back to editor, let me say that if I copy this object variable and let's say that echo, if suppose we want the email of user, so email, so let's say global parameter, this is current user, we have a data, so let's say data and inside this data we are going to fetch the detail of called user email. So this is something called user email. So save this file, go to browser, reload this page and now we have this is the email of currently logged in user. So this is all about the global parameters called page now, submenu and the current user global parameters of WordPress. So if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.